Regardless of what you think about it and whether you like it, there's no escaping from the fact that the Honda CRV is the second biggest selling SUV in the world. Only the equally uninspiring Toyota RAV4 beats it, so Honda revealing details of an all new, sixth generation CRV is a pretty big deal by anyone's standards. If you can't contain your excitement for a moment longer, here's what you need to know about the all new 2023 Honda CRV and what we think about it here at CarBuyingAndSelling.com. The CRV has been America's best selling SUV for the past quarter of a century. And in its press release, the Japanese automaker claims the all-new 2023 Honda CRV features what Honda calls a rugged and sophisticated design, along with a new, more advanced fourth-generation hybrid electric system for a fuel-efficient, sporty, and more capable driving experience. Inevitably, the CRV hybrid variants are the most expensive models in the new CRV lineup. Still, they're expected to account for around 50% of all sales for this sixth generation. Honda and many media commentators would probably want to go straight to what they consider to be the most critical aspects of the new CRV, the powertrain, fuel economy, safety features, and new technology. However, the truth is most people care about what a vehicle looks like before considering all the technical stuff, so what's Honda done with the exterior of the CRV? As I just said, Honda calls the exterior styling rugged and sophisticated. But surely that's a contradiction in terms. I'm pretty sure you can be rugged or sophisticated, but pulling off both at the same time would be quite an achievement for Honda or any other automaker. Well, the first thing I'd say about the way the new CRV looks is that it's an improvement over its predecessor. I'd say the designers have definitely made it look more refined than the outgoing generation, but the jury is out on that ruggedness business. On the other hand, we need to keep in mind that not all 2024 Honda CRV models are created equal. Honda admits taking inspiration for the new CRV from the latest Ridgeline and Passport Trail Sport models, but I'd say there's a little too much HRV in there for my liking. It's all very smooth and certainly more sporty than previous generations, and the good news is it doesn't look weird like some CRVs of the past have done. My problem with how it looks is how you'll feel about it once you get used to it. I thought the new HRV was a massive improvement on the previous model when I first saw it, and it is. However, the more I see of it as I write about it for Honda dealers in the US and Canada, the more boring I find it and the less I like it. I'm already starting to think the same about the 2024 CRV. It's like classic songs. Ones that endure for decades are ones you probably didn't like right away. The ones you like immediately, however, can quickly start to get on your nerves. On a more positive note, the sport and sport touring hybrid models get bolder styling that includes more aggressive front and rear fascias grille meshes that are highlighted with a gloss black accent, and the Sport and Sport Touring are the only trims with rectangular exhaust finishers. There you have it then. How could you not want to rush out and pay tens of thousands of dollars for a new Honda CRV now that you can have one with rectangular exhaust finishers? Come on guys. How could you possibly resist? Seriously though. Let's give Honda credit for improving the styling, even if it does look a lot like the Ford Escape. I could ramble on about the interior now and its clean surfacing, high-quality feel of materials and upscale touches, and how the all-new sporty and modern interior builds on the new Honda design direction. What I do find telling, though, is how much emphasis Honda places in its press release about this model having the most cargo space of any CRV to date. That's all well and good, but there's no mention of extra room for actual humans. Anyway, at least your luggage will now be more comfortable in the CRV even if you and your passengers might not be. Honda always appears to be behind the curve when it comes to the touchscreen size arms race, and that doesn't change with the new CRV. Poverty models only get a tiny 7-inch digital instrument panel and 7-inch infotainment touchscreen, although CRV XL and Sport Touring models get a larger standard 9-inch touchscreen. Finally, let's take a look at powertrains, performance, and how we expect the 2024 Honda CRV to ride and drive. The standard gas power plant remains unchanged, so it's going to be the same 1.5-liter turbo 4 producing 190 horsepower and 179 pound-foot of torque that Honda uses at what feels like every possible opportunity. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're expecting the new hybrid power plant to be the exciting news here, aren't you? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the hybrid system looks like a backward step rather than a forward one. It's still based around a 2-liter inline-4 gas engine but the combined output is now 204 horsepower and 247 pound-foot of torque. 
Last year's CRV hybrid had a combined output of 212 horsepower. So what's going on here then? Well, while we haven't driven it yet, to judge for ourselves, everything Honda claims to have done to improve the CRV revolves around refinement. It has to be said, though, that the miserable 86 miles per hour top speed of the old hybrid has increased to a less miserable 115 miles per hour this time around. So let's be thankful for small mercies. Honda claims the new hybrid system is more refined at highway speeds and claims the 1.5-liter Turbo 4 has additional refinement. The press release says the new CRV has a more fun-to-drive personality that's more confident and, you guessed it, refined dynamics. The enhanced global architecture delivers a 15% torsionally stiffer body that further supports improvements in ride, handling, and, yet again, overall refinement. Okay, Honda, we get it. Your key mission here was to make the all-new 2024 CRV more refined in every way. But what does refined really mean? I thought I'd do the obvious journalistic thing and look up what the dictionary definition of refined is. There were several results from the Cambridge Dictionary, but the one I took to apply here was improved because of many small changes that have been made. So make them have it, everyone. The all-new 2024 Honda CRV makes many small changes over its predecessor that do improve it but probably not by much. So, what do I make of the new CRV from what we know so far? Well, if I were writing a one-liner to sum it all up in the sort of way you see in adverts, it would probably be something like, the all-new 2024 Honda CRV, better than it was before, but not by very much. I don't imagine that we'll get too many of you too excited, but as ever I could be wrong. Let me know what you think of the new Honda CRV in the comments below, and don't forget to check out our website which is carbuyingandselling.com. On the site, you'll find hundreds of articles that can help you buy your next car for less and get more when you sell your current model. Also, we're about to launch a new section with thousands of used vehicles for sale, where as well as browsing and buying, you'll also be able to list your vehicle for sale for a fraction of what it would cost elsewhere.